Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad about it. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. Bless the Lord. Come on in, folks. Hallelujah. Come on in. We got a friend with us this morning, y'all. We got a new friend. Say, we got a friend. I got a friend in you. Y'all, she did so good. She went to bed. Bless God. Little cupcake. She went to bed last night. She let me get my studying in. She let me get my time in the Lord in. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Hallelujah. God is so good. He's a good God, ain't he? Her first word going to be Jesus. Come on, glory. Listen, listen, we, we talk Bible scriptures. So whenever we can't go to bed, we just start talking the word. We talk to the Lord. Don't we do it? Yes, we start talking to the Lord. Bless God. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Hallelujah. There is a word from the Lord on today. Hallelujah. Yes, God. When I tell y'all God is faithful. He is faithful. I know I say it all the time, but I say it because I really do mean it. I really do mean it. Hallelujah. God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. So don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. Cause he's able. He's able, he's able, hallelujah. Okay, God is able. Oh, 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 oh he's able. Said a God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Good morning, Jewel. I knew you was about to drop that. Don't give up on God because he won't give up on you because he's able. Listen, this fast that we are on, so we are on a 30-day fast. Um from television we are on a 30-day fast from social media scrolling um and i when i tell you it is really a blessing because the lord is using it to um allow us to hear him clearly to get all the distractions out so that you can really hear him clearly when i tell you the holy ghost is the holy ghost and it's not that god is not speaking it's that we are not listening it's that we are too full of every other voice and we are not listening and so i'm so excited about this 30 days i can't wait to see what comes out on the other side of it y'all Ooh, glory i love god and all his children 30 days I am very, very, very excited at the growth that you're going to receive um, and the way that the God, that God is going to manifest himself, the Holy Spirit, in your life. Hallelujah. Yes, God. God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill every promise miss to you i learned something don't give up on god because he won't give up on you many of us sing the songs we quote the scripture and some of us preach um but a lot of us do not believe the word my god come on 
on. They do not believe the words that they are saying out of their mouth. My God. Many are not believing the words that are coming out of their mouth, y'all. It's a serious thing that is going on. We got to believe God. It is all that we have in this world. So yesterday I was out and I heard the Lord say, the horses and the chariots will fail. He said the horses and the chariots would fail. My God. Everything that people have put their hope in besides God. It's going to fail, ain't it? Yes. Bless God. The horses and the chariots will fail. They put their hope in the vaccine and still got COVID. Mm, mm, mm. I'm trying to tell you, they vote for these certain people that they want in office and still don't turn out good. Come on. The horses and the chariots would fail. The Lord said every underhanded way. My God, come on. Every crooked path still going to fail. God, I love your word on today. It's still going to fail. Yes, it's the truth. Bless God. We have to understand that God is the only way. There's no other way. It really ain't. I don't know what we think and we say all these things. We say God is good. We say he's able. We say we do all the things. We go to church day after day, year after year, week after week. How often you go? Yes. Now you want, you preach. Now I'm preaching. Which one's preaching? You preaching. I'll let you preach. All right. Bless God. She don't want to preach right now. Come on. We have to understand people are, we got, we got to really believe at some point you got to really believe God at some point. I mean, for real, y'all, if he said he's going to heal, he going to heal. Yes. If he said he's going to deliver, he's going to deliver. If he said he's going to provide, he's going to provide. But so often we're so worried. The Bible says you cannot serve two masters. Can't serve God and money. Because if you serve one, it's going to make you short out on the other. You serve the other, it's going to make you short out on the other. You have to understand that when you serve money, when you serve money, the, the job will always come before the God assignment. Come on. The, the job will always come before the God assignment. You'll never be able to do those things. And I know what you're thinking. Well, I got needs. I got bills. I got babies. You think God didn't know you got bills? You think he didn't know you got babies? I want to be helping somebody on today. You didn't get yourself pregnant and it wasn't your husband and it wasn't your boyfriend, your baby daddy, or however you got pregnant. It wasn't none of those ways. If the Lord does not bless the one, you cannot have a child. If the Lord does not bless the womb, you cannot have a child. So what that tells me is that God knows all of the things. He knows when the kids is in the world, what they need, how much they need, where they're going, so on and so forth. You cannot serve God and money. You can't do it. Let's go to Matthew 6 this morning. Lord, we thank you for your word on today. We bless your name. We thank you for your faithful. You're good and you're just in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah and amen. My God, come on. Now, some people, their job, their God assignment is marketplace. Some people's job, and God assignment is marketplace. But that's a strategic calling that God is going to use and you will see holy fruit come from it. That's how you know. It's going to be holy fruit. Oh, I'm going to drop your blanket. Let me get your blanket. It's going to be holy fruit that comes from it. Ain't that right, Journal Boo? Yes, God. Come on. She's up with her shouting shoes on, y'all. She's up. She's going to be my amen corner this morning. Bless God. Let's go to Matthew 6 and verse 24. No one can serve two masters, for we will hate one and love the other. You will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. That is why I tell you not 
to worry about everyday life. Whether you will have enough food and drink or enough clothes to wear. Listen, see, we're, we're so, if you're listening to the world, the world wants you to get you all we're, um, nervous. The world wants to get you all nervous and all upset and all shook up and all of these things. But if you know the Lord and you've been reading your Bible, you've been reading your scripture, then guess what? You know that family is a part of, of it. But guess what? You also know that he said, I never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging for bread. So he know he is going to provide for his children. But oh yeah, family's going to hit. And only those that are worried are those that ain't, that ain't secure in Christ. Okay, when you secure in Christ, baby, listen, I can't worry about it. I don't know what's going to happen. If I got enough money to stock up, I'm going to stock up. If I don't, I don't. And God is still going to be God. He's still going to provide. Come on, we got to get over here and put all of our faith and all of our hope. It's the horses and the chariots, they going to fail. There's going to be people that got money. They, baby, they got their pantry so stocked up, child. They got their pantry stocked up. They think they got it all figured out. They got the pantry stocked. They got the, uh, the they got it all put in certain kind of ways so that no, no bugs get in it. Baby, when they open them vats, it's still going to be full of bugs. Come on. It's still going to be rotted. Come on, because you can't hide from God. <laughs> and when God's judgment touches you, you can't hide from God. I'm sorry. Come on. I'm sorry. When people are, are out of the will of God and they want to keep calling you and telling you and they want to keep saying this, that, and the third, and they want to keep doing the most, but they ain't in God, you need to tell them that's what's supposed to be happening to you, baby. And I love you and may the Lord be with you until you turn from your wicked ways. That's normal. <laughs> My God. Hallelujah. Come on. It's normal. You're supposed to be experiencing all of that because you ain't in God. You got to stop the past. Oh, that's so sad. I hate to hear that. Baby, that's supposed to be happening to you because you ain't in God. <laughs> My Lord. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Listen, the horses and the chariots will fail every false way. Every false way. Y'all know the, the uh, story of David Cruz. Okay. The story of David Cruz. And he went around and the Lord was just showing. The Lord allowed it to go public. He allowed it to go viral, public, whatever you want to call it. My God, come on. But he allowed it because he wanted to show you that at the end of the day, I'm God and I will provide. I'm God and I will provide. That's the whole point of the story. That's the whole part of the testimony. Don't miss the testimony. Y'all trying to figure out which way and where and what else. Don't worry about none of that. The point is God provided for him because he obeyed God. And you cannot, you cannot go wrong obeying God. You cannot go, there's going to be, as we're growing and going and we're reaching towards the mark of the high calling, there are going to be seasons and there are going to be times, my God, and there are going to be times where you got to take a stand and the government is saying A and you're going to have to say B because God said B. There are times when you're going to have to take a stand because the crowd is going left and you're going to have to go right. There are times you're going to have to take a stand. Come on. I love God and all his children. There are times you're going to have to take a stand and it's going to cost you your job. So for some of you who did take the vaccine because it was going to make you lose your job, you didn't pass that test. You did not pass that test. I'm telling you now. So repent sincerely. Repent sincerely. Turn to God. Tell him, God, I did not trust you to provide for me. You have to be honest. God, I did not trust you to provide for me. You got to clip your nails, boo, because you were scratching me. I don't need no help. Glory. Come on. We got to, we have to, we got to repent and tell God that we didn't trust him to provide. And that is why we got the vaccine. Come on. And may he have mercy upon us. Come on, listen, y'all. We, we got to do better. Many of us are failing. We went to Walmart yesterday and they only had two cash registers in the whole Walmart that took cash because we're getting to that place. 
where if you do not follow their ways and you do not do what they want you to do, we're getting to that place. Come on, many are going to take the mark of the beast because they have not been prepared, because they have not been, they've been offered the opportunity of preparation, but they have not taken it. There have been all these shadows. The mask was a shadow for the mark. Many stores were saying you cannot come in if you don't put on a mask. Oh, well, I'm going to just put on the mask. Come on, I'm trying to help us. Jesus said, if you want to be my disciple, deny yourself, pick up your cross and follow me. There's going to be some things you're going to have to deny. There's going to be some things that you're going to have to deny and trust that God is going to provide. Matthew 6 and 25. That is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life whether you will have enough food and drink or enough clothing. Isn't life more than food and your body more than clothing? <laughs> My God, look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns. My God, for your heavenly father feeds them. And aren't you far more valuable than they? Can all your worrying add a single moment to your life? Yeah. My God. Yeah. Yeah. Someone said my son is being persecuted and being pushed out of his school due to his biblical opinions. Absolutely. No, that's not a uh, that's a good. Bless God. Yeah, that's what we're supposed to be doing. Come on. There's a there is a line being drawn in the sand. Which side are you on? Listen, I didn't hardly get no sleep last night. Me and the Lord was up. I was like, God, this is so good. You are just, woo. baby, he was just giving me the blueprint. Woo, glory. God is so God. This is normal. Persecution, that's normal. Bless the Lord. Now, the, the woman of God got her plenty of sleep last night. This little one, yes. She slept good. Didn't you sleep good, Journey? Yeah, she slept real good. Come on. We have to understand that this is a part of it. We got to gird up our loins. Okay. Uh, somebody said, I'm not sure where to put my kids in school now. It may have to be homeschool. Or you're going to have to teach them how to, how to hold tight. You know, I, I thought about this yesterday. A lot of times we're trying to teach. Um, a lot of times we're trying to um, go around the pain instead of teaching our children to face the pain because pain is life. We are trying to make them to go around it, baby. No, you got to gird up your loins. This is this is what. Listen, I want you to. There, we're in the book of Acts. Yes, she pre- Come, girl, you better preach. Glory, I said, Lord, let her be filled with the Holy Ghost. Come on, I'm trying to tell you. Come on, she gonna be preaching real good when she get big. Glory. Yes, God. Come on. I love the Lord. Listen, um, I want us to not miss the lesson. I want us to not miss the lesson in it. Our children have to be raised in the fear of the Lord, in the strength of the Lord. Come on. They have to know how to hold tight and stand. Jesus was in the temple at 12. If Jesus was in the temple at 12, that meant something was being poured into him. So we're studying the book of Acts during this 30-day fast. And I encourage you to study the book of Acts with your family. One chapter a day or how much it depends on how much you can. If you want to read three, four chapters a day and then start over. But this whole 30 days, we're reading the book of Acts because we got to know what we have access to. What were the apostles doing? I don't know what these apostles was doing. Now, I love God and all his children. He is so good to me. My God, come on. I don't know what all these apostles doing, but the apostles in the Bible went out. They was out traveling. They was out doing everything that they needed to do. Come on, they what? They said they counted it. They counted it joy to be suffering. Lord, Journey, why you want to mess up my hair? What you going through, boo? Girl, you done slept good. It's what a good bottle will do for you. Glory. Yes. <laughs> and God wants us to be just as the children. Childlike faith. She, Journey ain't worried about how the bill's going to get paid. She's just doing her. 
Journey ain't worried about who paying for the milk. She ain't worried about who paying for the pampers. All I know is when I cry, somebody better help me. Glory. Come on. And that's how God wants us to be. That's how God wants us to be. He wants us to trust and just do you. You do you, boo. Do what God has called you to do and trust that God's going to take care of the rest. He is God. All he's looking for is somebody to believe him at his word. Y'all, I just can't hardly hold it in. God is moving so much. I didn't get to put the website up yesterday. I didn't get to uh, post the Lord's um, Park on the website, but yeah, man, we're getting there. We're getting there. Prayerfully, we'll get it today, but we got Miss Miss Jeremy. Nakia, y'all good down there? Everybody good in your end of the world? I told uh, somebody called and said, Apostle, how y'all doing on that end? I said, I told the storm to go around. So it either got to go around Savannah or it got to go around my house. Either one. And it got to go around my park too. Bless God. Come on. Because, uh, yeah, because it's my, my people down there. My people's down there. I, I can't leave. So that's why I know it ain't going to hit too crazy here because I can't leave. I got an assignment. And so it just is what it is. Okay. Amen. That's it. God is faithful. I've never seen the righteous forsaken, baby. I'm trying to tell you the children of God the who really believe him are getting ready to walk into a season of miracles because judgment is in the land. Yes. Oh, yes. Baby, judgment is in the land. Come on. I'm trying to help us. But at the end of the day, he's going to take care of his own. My God, come on. Just because the three Hebrew boys went into the fiery furnace, my God, what that means? They seen a miracle. Come on, Daniel went in a lion's den. God, I love your word on today. But he seen a miracle. My God, come on. And so we have to learn how to um teach the children that that's normal. Persecution, baby, count it all joy. You got to gird them up in their most holy faith. I want you to read the book of Acts with them all, all this whole month. We're going to October the 24th. We're doing no TV because we're going to need strength. We're doing no TV. We're going to need strength. We're going to need endurance. We're going to need courage. And we need direct instruction from God. Okay. And so uh, we, we need God to do what he has called us to do. All right. He sent his people out. He sent his people out. Some of them were killed. Some of them were killed. The man that was at the park yesterday or whatever day I was. I don't know. The days run together. One of the days that I was at the park and uh, one of the men was talking to me and he said, you know, he said, he said, I always say God is faithful. He said, but I can't say God is the only one faithful because I don't know what people are willing to do for this. OK, um, he said, I don't know what what people are willing to do and how what how far they willing to go. I said, baby. I'm all in, baby. I'm like Esther. If I perish, I perish. Because one thing I realize, when you know where you're going, it doesn't actually matter how you die. It doesn't matter. You're not trying to. Uh, you're not trying to reserve your life. No. We're not trying to. You don't got to reserve your life. Come on, you got to pour it out like a liquid offering. Offer it up to the Lord, whichever way you want this thing to go. Come on. Because you can't really be effective for God if fear is still in your heart. You can't really be effective for God if you're afraid to die. You ain't ready. Stay home. Stay home. If you're not secure, come on, then you might want to stay home. Because it'll make you flinch. You know what I learned also? The reason why people are flinching is because they let sin punk them out. When we let sin punk us out, we lose our uh we lose more and more of our authority. Come on, how are you gonna cast the devil out that you still laying with? How are you gonna cast the devil out that you still in uh, agreement with? That's why you can't cast it out because you're still in agreement with it. Sin it weakens you. Come on. Woo, glory. When I tell you, I said yesterday, y'all was sitting in the park, and the Lord told me one time. Um, the Lord told me one time, he said, uh, he said, your ignorance works for you. That's how I made you. Your ignorance works for you. And I said, I thought about it yesterday as I was sitting in the park. Somebody came over and asked somebody they want to do something. I don't know the terminology. They asked somebody something. They said something. And I had just got finished praying with them. And um, I, I laughed to myself. I said, Lord, I'm glad I don't know what that means. Bless God. Come on. I'm glad. I'm glad. Um. Uh, 
I'm glad I don't really know what that means. And so <laughs> bless the Lord. I don't need to know. All I need to know is what God said. Because if I really know all the things that's going around on going on around me, I probably would, my nerves might be a wreck. But at the end of the day, I know who sent me. Come on. We cannot be in fear. Because the Lord said it so clearly. Hey. The Lord said it so clearly. Come on. He said the horses and the chariots will fail. I went out yesterday, y'all. We at the park and I went over to this man and I said, excuse me. Um, I said, uh, excuse me. I said it was there was in a van. They sitting there rolling weed on the front of the van. I said, excuse me. I need this van. I said, I got some kids I need to pick up for church. He said, who need this van? I said, I need this van. He said, you need to buy the van. I said, no, I don't need to buy the van. I need you to drive the van. Oh, you need a van driver and a drive? Yeah. He said, okay, you know what? I'll do it for you for free. I'll get a detail and I'll do it for you for free. Listen, the Lord said, I shall supply all of your needs according to my riches and glory. Now, the driver wasn't smoking weed. Let me get that straight. The driver wasn't smoking weed, but the passenger that was in there was. Listen, God said, you just got to go out. I have my people in position. He said, that's his part. Woo. My God, the Lord said, go and let them know that's my part. Yeah, it's my part. Then one man, he wanted, he said, oh, how you doing? I be talking. Oh, we, I'm good. He said, yeah, I'm Muslim. I said, I'm Julia. See how I didn't even acknowledge that. Come on, because at the end of the day, I said, okay. I said, put your number in my phone. Something I decreed and I declared. I said, Lord, every person that put their number in this phone, they're going to get snatched up by the glory. <laughs> you got to have some decrees over your life. <laughs> you got to have some decrees over your life. My God, come on. Okay, so someone said, so we're on a fast. You said you're going to need an accountability partner. Let me tell you what your accountability partner is, because I think you said your son was getting persecuted at school. You got to gird up your loins first. Your accountability partner is the Holy Ghost. Come on, we got to have more self. We're, we're too weak. You don't need an accountability partner. You just need the Holy Ghost. All you got to do is get in that word every day. Put it down. It's really that simple. It, because if your sons are pus pushing through and they're going through persecution, it's your job to stand in the right posture in the spirit and cover them as they go in. My God, come on. I'm trying to help us. The three Hebrew boys, I just believe one of them at least had a praying mama. I just believe that one of them, come on, because this is the thing. Our children are going to go through persecution. Baby, I promise you, you got to have faith in this season. My God, come on. You got to have it because I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I don't know. And we're going to the next level. And at the end of the day, whatever God has in store, we're only going to be able to obtain it by faith. It's the only way we're going to be able to obtain it. It's the only way we're going to be able to obtain it is by faith. Come on. We got to believe God in his word. The Bible says, let me give you scripture. Let me give you accountability partner. The Bible says the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Hey, so all I got to do is the righteous. My God, come on. And the seed, come on. According to the righteousness that, the, that Christ Jesus ha has offered to us through the cross. All I got to do is live righteous. Come on. Because the Holy Ghost lives in us. When the Holy Ghost lives in you, it tells you what to do. It leads you. Now it's up to you whether you do it. It's up to you whether you do it. Yes, God. It's up to you whether you do it. And the Holy Ghost works. On, on all situations, everything, every nook, every cranny. And, and let me ask y'all this. So we are on a social media fast. How are y'all sending me videos to watch if we're on a social media fast? I don't know. We must not be on the fast together because people are sending me videos. That's on the makeover ministry. That's in the makeover ministry family. I guess y'all not tuned in, I guess. Yeah, we on a social media fast. That means after you get the word, you log off. You don't scroll because you got to learn self-control. Come on. If you always need somebody to breastfeed you and babysit you, you the Bible says you got to grow up until you can get to the strong meat. Yeah. Okay. Maybe they didn't understand. All right. But we need to understand because this is serious. We're, we're trying to, you're, you're trying to figure out why you're not getting the results. 
that you're trying to get. I'm trying to help us. Yeah. Okay, you didn't know about the fast. Yes, so we're on 30 days. 30 days, we're ending October the 24th. No social media, no uh, television. So what does that leave for us to do? We're going to read the book, book of Acts. We're building ourselves up in our most holy faith. We're also on a um, Daniel fast. No fruit. I mean, you all right? Okay. You all right? So we're on a Daniel fast. No meat, no dairy. Um, we're eating fruits, vegetables, nuts, grain. You can eat popcorn, tortillas, tortilla chips, um, fruit juice, water, no soda, uh, no cheese. I think I said that. So yeah, we're we're uh we got to have endurance in this season to come. We got to have strength. And so if this is just, and for our children, even the children are fasting. The kids, no, not no social media for them, no TV for them. We do have one movie. If you're in the Makeover Ministry family group, me and I put it on the, uh, and it's actually not even a movie. It's literally the Bible. It's the Book of Acts. And so my best best recommendation is to continue to um listen, continue to continue to listen to it because the Bible says faith comes by hearing. And I really want us to study the Book of Acts. And I want us to study the, the way that they move, the way that the apostles move, because we're here. We're in this season. Um, and I'm so grateful, so grateful, I'm so grateful that God is a good God, y'all. Um, another thing that we can do is uh, while you're hanging out and you don't have your TV on, hang out with your kids. Do arts and crafts. Go outside. Uh, read a book. Draw. Color. Work on learning a new language. Um, it's all, it's always something to do, but we're so consumed. Um, oh, okay. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, we're so consumed with social media that is in television that we can't, we can't just get in our Bible. We can't just get in our Bible. So I want us to, to be mindful of that we're girding up our loins and building ourselves in our most holy faith. That's what we are doing y'all. Okay. So that is the reason that we are fasting and we're trying to have ears to hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying to the church. We got to, we have to turn our plate over sometime. Come on. We're too full. The Bible says those that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled, but we're already full. That's why we can't be filled because we're too full. We're too full. And so God's voice is having to compete with all the things. You get the word on TikTok, then you scroll up and somebody's saying the exact opposite of what you just learned. So now you're struggling to figure out what's right. Then you flip up again. Somebody's saying something. To, I mean, it's just a lot. So that's what we're, that's why we are fasting. Um, Verse 27. Can all of your worries add a single moment to your life? And why worry about your clothing? Look at the lilies of the field and how they grow what's wrong pretty girl what is it wrong what's the matter mm. lord have mercy what's the matter stinker you just you sleepy you've been woke for a little while oh you got the she cups um how can they grow? They don't worry or make clothing. Yet Solomon in all his glory was not dressed as beautifully as they were. And if God cares so wonderfully for the wildflowers that are here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, he certainly will care for you. So why do you have so little faith? I know we don't think that we have little faith. I know that we don't think that we have so so little faith, but we really we struggle to just believe the simple things that God is saying. The simple things that God said that he's going to do. He just really is going to do it. So don't worry about these things, what we will eat, what we will drink, what we will wear. These things dominate the thought. Ooh, God, I love your word on today. These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers, but your heavenly father already knows your needs. And if you seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness, everything else shall be added unto you. And so we, it's time to begin to really live the scripture. We, some of us really ain't started yet. We ain't started. We just share the scripture. We know of the scripture, but it's time to start living the scripture. Okay. 
Because you just don't know what, what tomorrow brings, but God knows. Oh, um, the princess is sleepy. Where are you pacify it, pretty girl? Child, her babysitter is upstairs asleep. Her babysitter is supposed to be down here getting her at 7 o'clock. But she's asleep. She's getting all her rest. All right, let me give y'all one more scripture and I'm going to wrap it up so I can get a little cupcake situated. Let's go to Psalms 20. Psalms 20. Journey, you acting like I'm, I'm the one that's sleepy. You acting like you didn't get no rest. You got all the rest, girl. Psalms 20 and verse 7. Psalms 20 and verse 7. Some nations boast of their chariots and their horses, but we boast in the name of the Lord, our God. Ooh. Some nations boast of their chariots and their horses, but we boast in the name of the Lord, our God. Come on. We're going to see some beautiful things happen. Okay. Not too many days from now, y'all, because of the circumstances and the conditions of the world. Put your faith in God. Leave your faith in God. Don't move. Whatever God has told you, he is God. Come on. Get doubt out of your ear. This is why we are coming off social media. While we're coming off of the television, we come to get doubt out of our ear, worry, all of that competition, all we trying to get all of that out of our ears so we can believe God and see the salvation of the Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for your word on today. Okay, pretty girl. Lord, bless the little woman of God right here. Bless her, Jesus. Bless her. Bless everyone on the broadcast today, Lord. We thank you for continuing to watch over us, keeping us safe from hurt, harm, danger, pain, and trouble. And when the weapons do form, we thank you that they will not prosper. We bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah and amen. 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 Bless God. All right. We love you all. Be encouraged. Know that if God be for you, he's greater than the world against you. And we will see you all soon. Blessings and peace.